Hey guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to the top five niches of the week. We're gonna be digging into what t-shirt niches are selling really well on Amazon because if it's selling on Amazon, the number one e-commerce website in the world, it's probably gonna sell on any other e-commerce marketplace, print on demand marketplace, whatever you wanna call it, whether even you know beyond t-shirts, if you wanna put it on a hat, if you wanna put it on a KDP notebook, we're gonna be digging into the niches that the customers are buying. So let's get right into it. Actually, before we start, let me introduce myself. I'm Ryan Hoag. I've sold over $1.6 million on Amazon to date. And if you wanna follow the links in the description, I have a free print on demand mini course that walks you through how to set up the Printful Etsy integration completely free, deliver one lesson a day by email. Got a print on demand Facebook community. I publish passive income reports each month. If you wanna follow those, just hit the subscribe button. And then if you wanna be notified when I drop these videos, just hit the little bell icon that pops up. And I have a full blown print on demand course. It's basically a couple different courses rolled up into one. So it's a pretty good value. It'll walk you through the step by step of getting started, how to sell print on demand on places like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and then about five other marketplaces where I show you how to automate uploads. So you basically can, well, you can literally do it on autopilot. All right, let's get back into the niches. Niche number one, and this probably won't come as a surprise if you watched last week's episode. But Father's Day shirts are selling like crazy. And I mentioned it's probably a good idea to not just try to attack Father's Day shirts with, you know, a shirt that says world's best dad, but get a little bit more creative and sell something like the daddy shark do do to do to do. This has been proven to sell. Um, This was, you know, basic, not just daddy shark, but, you know, mommy shark and sister shark and everybody. This design's been selling like crazy. I personally don't have any kids, but I know that this is like a viral hit song amongst young children and uh, I am from the like DC metropolitan area and when the Washington Nationals won the uh, World Series recently uh, this was just one of those like team memes I think it's because one of their best players used to walk out to the plate and he would walk out to this song which they'll play everybody gets their own walkout music when you play home games so this was a big meme people during the World Series run were like dressed like the Sharks in the in the crowd and um, yeah, it was a whole thing. So I know people in my area where I live would definitely love this shirt. And it comes as no surprise that, you know, consecutive years ranking extremely high in the Father's Day niche, which is selling really well right now. All right, niche number two. This to the untrained eye, like myself included, I had to go and click on the the link to the ASIN, the, the link to the listing and figure out what the heck was going on here. But this is actually guitar chords. And they put in the listing title space dash dad. So I think they got it ranked on people buying t-shirts for dads that like guitar. I personally can see why this would sell because my dad loves guitars. He owns a bunch of guitars. He's really great at playing it. Unfortunately, that musical ability was not passed on to his son. Uh, You know, is what it is. All right, niche number three. Oh, we're getting into politics here. So those of you that recognize what this is, not just the number 45 squared with a American flag, but Trump is the 45th president. He's running for re-election this year and political shirts are going to sell like crazy this year. You better believe it. Regardless of what side of the political spectrum you fall on, this should be putting this on your radar. Political, by the way, this design, it may look hard to make, but this is really just pick a decent looking font do in Photoshop a clipping mask of an American flag and then do a distressed effect, which I walked through how to do a distressed effect in my Amazon merch mini course. So if you want to sign up for that again, you can follow a link. And I don't know if I have the link to the mini course in the description. If I don't, it's on my website or it's on any of my Amazon merch videos, but I walk you through basically exactly how to create a design like this and you can do it in two minutes. Oh, niche number three, part two. So I didn't want to just you know, put the pro Trump shirt up there in case you guys fall on the other end of the spectrum. And you didn't like seeing that the pro Trump people are buying t-shirts. There was also really high ranked t-shirts that are just anti-Trump. So obviously this is kind of towing the line with mimicking a big brand. I think that's like laundry detergent. Uh, I forget which one exactly, but it definitely looks like it's kind of a parody on a big brand. I always get a little sketched out about putting these sort of designs up on Amazon merch, on other non-merch platforms. Like merch is the most valuable print on demand platform by far. I mean, no one's disputing that. So I don't wanna lose my merch account above all else. But if I was gonna put this on like Redbubble, I wouldn't be worried. I'm not worried about this getting pulled. Um, Definitely though, if you did upload this to merch, like this person did, this is pulled from Amazon merch. uh, Don't be putting like the brand name that you did a parody of anywhere in the listing on the brand, bullets, title, et cetera. Um, In general, probably just better to stay away. All right, niche number four. 
This may look familiar from my video last week, my top five niches of the week, because it's like right now, what niches are really selling? Well, a lot of Father's Day, a lot of graduation, and yeah, those are pretty much the two predominant niches. So I had to include another graduation um, design in here. Last week, I showed the same design, except for they swapped out sister for mother. So that's another way, by the way, if you're in tier 10, you might be like, oh, I don't know if I have the upload slots to be doing that. You know, it's your call. But if you are in like tier 1000 plus and you're taking the time to make a nice looking design like this, go ahead and swap the word mom out for sister. You know what I mean? Swap it out for father and brother, etc. And I'm actually, you know, very soon going to talk more about a Chrome extension that I built with a friend that uh, allows you to basically automate design creations with variable pieces like sister. And you could also swap out class of 2020. You could make 2020 a variable, sister a variable, and you could download, you know, hundreds of designs at a time. It's just gonna do it for you. It's a Chrome extension. I'm gonna be talking more about that in the near future. I'm just getting the, you know, last couple pieces um, tidied up. Niche number five out of five. I survived nursing school class of 2020. So it's another class of 2020 graduation design, but just wanted to show that like you can include different, you can attack it different ways. Like the last one was for the sister of a graduate. This one is for somebody that survived nursing school. Um, obviously you can swap out the nursing piece with law school. You know, my sister graduated law school not too long ago and you could, you know, maybe, I don't know, it wouldn't be easy to flip the design piece there with the heartbeat because obviously that's tailored to uh nursing, but you know, it's up to you how much time you want to spend on these designs. And again, your design strategy should be tailored to your tier. If we're talking about Amazon merch, and if we're not talking about Amazon merch, all the other platforms pretty much give you 50 uploads a day. So you should be thinking like, how can I get closer to 50 uploads a day? Because this is undisputable, indisputable. That's probably the word I meant to say indisputable that if you have more products, or more, let's say this, more designs for sale on more products on more marketplaces, you'll make more money. Remember that. No, people have lots of different opinions about how to attack print on demand, but no one will deny that selling more products in more places will make you more money than selling less products in less places. Let's keep that in mind. All right, bonus designs that I liked when I was browsing. Call of Daddy, Parenting Ops. I would not upload this to my merch account because it is way too close to Call of Duty, but I thought it was funny. And then I did some research here. Animal Crossing is a popular uh, game that, you know, I don't actually play it, but I was watching my uh, my friend's girl play it. And she, you know, loved Animal Crossing. She was explaining the game to me. It reminded me of, uh, of Harvest Moon, one of those older games, I guess, that I used to play uh, growing up. But anyways, it wasn't trademarked. I personally would not be uploading Animal Crossing shirts to merch because they're automated detection may let it through but at the same time it's one of these things it's kind of like a ticking time bomb you're probably not going to get away with it forever so just wanted to let you know this is selling well but um you know i don't know i wouldn't recommend uploading this but i was just putting it out there that it's like a popular video game that's not trademarked for use on t-shirts there are trademarks if you search it there's like five or six records that are live none of them are protecting it for merchandise that i saw or like for wearable apparel so anyways uh, and then last one, I just thought this one was funny in the graduation niche. It says, I graduated. Can I go back to bed now? I, I mean, I'd wear that if I just graduated. I thought that was funny. All right. And then before I wrap up, let's take a look at some designs that were removed from Merch by Amazon. So I didn't do too much research into why these were pulled. Um, but, you know, like for instance, the marijuana shirt, like, I, you know, I don't really upload the drug shirts. I'm just so paranoid about Amazon merch, their content policy, which by the way, I'm doing an Amazon merch mini course. Um, it's been slow because they closed merch for like five or six weeks, but I've been like getting back into it. And then the new video that I'll probably drop this week, this week, I'm planning on reading through some of the content policy to get everybody acclimated to what it says. Now the content policies obviously doesn't translate directly into like what will get pulled and what will, you know, what's, what's allowed, what's not allowed. It's not perfect, but uh, definitely reading through it is a good thing. So I'm going to read through it in the next video of my merch mini series. Um, one shirt that immediately stood out to me was like the the DJ, the DJ Marshmallow. He wears that helmet with the X's as eyes. Um, you know, that one you should not. He's obviously extremely famous and his apparel sells extremely well, but you do not want to be infringing on him because I'm sure he has a team of 
people defending his intellectual property. All right, and then I just wanted to shout out Merch Informer, Merch Ninja, and Merch Titans as the three research tools that I use when I'm doing my preparations to release these top five niches of the week videos. You can check out all three, links are in the description. Merch Ninja is probably my favorite out of all three of these because while they all pretty much do the same thing, Merch Ninja is definitely the fastest one and it probably has the most robust functionality built in. It is actually a German tool, so it defaults to the German market, but you can easily switch it to um, search for only the US market. So anyways, guys, just wanted to put that out there. Go ahead and support those guys if you are looking for a research tool for your print on demand niche research. And that's it guys, thank you again for watching. Remember, if I can do it, so can you. All you have to do is take action. If you haven't started your print on demand business, get started. You can pretty much make money without spending money. How often is that the case, right? Print on demand is a great opportunity. Take advantage guys, go sell some Father's Day shirts, go sell some graduation shirts. As soon as other niches start popping up on the radar, tune back in next week. I'll be the first to let you know. Thanks guys, I'll see you at the next video. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.